So I mentioned in the previous month's review that I was worried September of 2024 wouldn't be good, especially given how some of the videos towards the end of August were. But let's find out about this month's videos, shall we? Goodman Goes to Jail Okay, the first video of September, and this one was... just okay, I guess? It was just what if Goodman but in jail. This could have been an interesting video concept had more been done with it, but I think part of the problem is that Chives was dragged into this, so instead what ended up happening was Chives being bossed around by Goodman a bunch and not much else. Not only was it dumb to have Chives suffer throughout the video, but it prevented basically anything that might have been interesting with Goodman being in jail from happening. On comfortable bed, Goodman just sits on Chives. Toilet he doesn't like. Just force Chives to do things to remedy the situation. A scene with bubbles? Uh, actually looking at the video, I think that portion should have been removed entirely. In fact, come to think of it, this video should have been redone entirely. Chives was the character that I both thought was unfairly treated, but also the worst part of the video, simply because of how he was forced to help Goodman, and therefore we didn't really get anything interesting out of this video. 3 out of 10. I think this video had a couple moments that I could consider funny, such as the Judge Chris slash Pablo slash Pooby segment, but ultimately most of this video ended up not being all that interesting, and just a lot of missed potential. Brooklyn Guy's Sad Day. Well this video was... also another pretty dumb one. Most of this video was Brooklyn Guy talking and complaining about how he doesn't want to go to Beyonce's birthday party because it was also the same day where Brooklyn Guy remembers that Steve Irwin died. So okay, I think you all know what I think about long stretches of Brooklyn Guy just talking. It's just annoying and filler, but let's discuss something else. Logan decided to use AI voices for Beyonce and later on Biden during this video, and I have to ask, why? I mean, most of the time they do impressions for celebrities. I mean, for crying out loud, Tom Brady, who's in a video from later this month, is still the same impression they've been doing for years. Would it have really been that difficult to do that instead? In fact, I think impressions would have been even funnier, while this just feels lazy at best or annoying at worst. And none of this is helped of course by the fact that the video wasn't all that good to begin with, so this gets a 2.5 out of 10. I thought the party scene was at least a little bit interesting, but it went by so quickly that it didn't really help the video all that much. This video was just boring, didn't have much in the way of highlights, and had portions where I literally have no clue why they didn't do impressions. Impractical Jokesters. The first portion of this video was actually rather creative. Mind you, I've never seen Impractical Jokers, so I have no clue how close this is to the source material, but ultimately it was funny enough. In fact, I'll argue this carried the video, because the rest was them playing dumb pranks on Chef PP a couple times, then Junior and Cody arguing about rat poison, followed by Junior killing Chef PP. I kept getting this sense of deja vu with that portion especially, like I'd seen something similar to that in a previous SML video. So 4.8 out of 10. I think the first portion of this video was really good, but the second half was just boring or stupid. There could have been so much more done with this video, such as even more pranks on other characters or something, but instead this video had its big highlight, followed by them basically meandering along for the second half. Junior's Big Playtime 4 Alright, just like the past few Playtime videos, this video is a lot of yelling and shouting for the first couple of minutes, which was... actually about as annoying as I thought it would be. I think one of my favorite scenes in this video was the one where the exterminator is dressed as an avocado simply because of how bizarre it was. As for the rest of the video though, well, Junior's scenes where he's a garbage man were actually pretty boring, although not terrible I suppose. Cody's scene with Timmy was annoying, especially since they started singing. The scenes where Junior gets beat up, such as by Nightmare Toad, were actually pretty funny, once again due to just how out of nowhere they were. Overall though, this video is a 4 out of 10. I really want to like this video for the highlights it did have, but honestly most of this video ended up just being boring or more arguing and yelling, which weren't all that enjoyable to watch. It's an okay enough video, but not anything to write home about. 
Cody the Killer. Oh look, it's one of those videos where it revolves around one single joke, that being Junior Joseph getting the idea that Cody is a killer. Now I think this actually did have the beginnings of something a bit more interesting and creative, such as when Cody tries to call his mom but instead his dad answers, but they need to keep that sort of thing up, such as a massive series of coincidences, like even add Cody having ketchup on his clothes or something them going to actually look for Cody's mom, etc. Have one person, such as Penelope, side with Cody, while Junior and Joseph still have their idea that they're working off of. In fact, they started doing that, until suddenly Penelope started siding with Junior and Joseph for some reason. Because the couple of creative moments this video did have didn't save it from the fact that nearly all of it was filler, which is why it's getting a 2.5 out of 10. This video, like many SML videos anymore, had a creative idea, but ultimately ended up just being a bunch of talking and arguing with Junior and Joseph acting dumb again. The overwhelming majority of it was dumb and just them talking on the red couch again. Jeffy's Lego Competition Ironically, despite this video being about Legos, the actual video itself wasn't all that interesting. The Lego competition portion of this video might have been interesting had it been something like a montage of them having to make something from scratch, but instead Brooklyn Guy destroyed everything that had been made, and all of this because he's mad at Legos because he lost a girl to Lester Lego. I'll admit that the Lester Lego segment towards the end of the video was actually sort of funny, but it couldn't really save the rest of this video. I think this video had a decent idea, and... Wait, this is starting to sound similar to a lot of videos this month so far. Obviously, this video could have been worse, and I thought overall it was okay enough. I mean, Brooklyn Guy didn't talk as long as he normally does, so I guess that can be considered a pro in modern SML. 3.8 out of 10. This video was okay, but not great. And ultimately, a lot more could have been done with this, but just wasn't. The Big Race This video was incredibly predictable. It was just Brooklyn Guy talking a bunch before finally agreeing to race a turtle, and he of course loses because that was the whole joke. In fact, ironically, I think it would have been funnier if he had just won instead without anything happening to him. Like he was almost surprised nothing bad ended up happening. I thought the joke with the turtle character talking slowly wasn't too awful actually, though that might just be because I had predicted that. What more is there to really add to this video though? It's a 2.8 out of 10. It wasn't creative or very funny, the joke of the video could be seen coming from miles away, and so what we ended up with is a very boring, very predictable video. I'll give some points back for the Nintendo segment, since it was at least a little bit entertaining. Abraham Lincoln. Okay, this video is something I'm going to call a good sandwich. As in, there was a good portion of the video surrounded by some not so good portions. The first few minutes were pretty boring and uninteresting, especially with this roasting segment that was in there for no reason. Throughout the segment, I was just sort of hoping that we'd get to the point of the video, which we luckily did. This scene with Chris playing Abraham Lincoln was actually really funny. This entire portion in general was actually quite good, and I think that all the actors did a really good job. And then we followed this up with another not as good portion, where it's just them discovering Ken became President Lincoln. They take Ken back, and then not much else happened for the rest of the video. So, uh, 5.5 out of 10? This is another one of those videos that I really want to like, honestly, mainly for the middle portion. However, the first and last parts of this video weren't all that great, with the first portion in particular really going on far too long. I think this video would have a much higher score if these segments either weren't in the video, or were shortened by quite a bit. Junior's Real Name Well, let's just get this out of the way. This video was awful. Do you know those videos that Logan does sometimes where the whole joke will be one thing that just goes on over and over? You know the ones. Cody's birthday, Cody's bad word, literally any Junior X Penelope video, etc. Well, this is the latest in a long tradition of stupid videos where there's only one joke repeated over and over, and not only does this type of video never get any better, it's been getting even worse. Guys, get it? The joke is that Junior has a name that he doesn't like, and everyone makes fun of him for it. 
I'm sure this is so funny, and it'd be even funnier if that's literally the entire video. The only positive I can think of is that the Nintendo animation and Brooklyn Guy's story to go along with it were sort of funny. Other than that though, this video was obnoxious. And just to make things worse, we had a sponsor segment in here. Did you guys miss the sponsor segments? Because I sure didn't. 1.5 out of 10. I still don't get why videos where it focuses on one joke like this still get made, because they're never funny or any good. Oh, and just to add salt onto the wound, this is now Junior's name. So that's just great now that we can open the door to more of this dumb joke. Jeffy's Happy Song. So when I initially watched this video, I thought it was decent, though mainly because I took portions of the Nintendo segment here and turned them into references of the mini Squidward dance from Spongebob. As for the actual video though, and eh, this video wasn't all that great actually. It was mainly just something happening, followed by them watching the happy song, and then everything is magically resolved. I enjoyed the ending where Jeffy actually gets punished for once, and I thought Goodman's scenes were decent due to just how completely bizarre they were, although even then I can understand why people would be upset watching Chives get dragged along and tortured by Goodman yet again. I've heard some people also say that this is some Coco Melon tier garbage, though honestly I think that might be pushing things a bit. 3.8 out of 10 all around though. It obviously could have been worse, but I figured the idea for this video would have been the happy song making people happy to a point of delusion where they can't be sad anymore and they're unable to feel pain or something like that. In fact, I think that would be a much more creative application of this idea. But instead we got another just sort of okay video. Brooklyn Guy Gets Robbed. Boring. It was literally just boring and not much else. I thought the scene with Brooklyn Guy having to run around playing himself as a police officer and a civilian was sort of funny, but actually no that's all I can really give this video. It just existed and not much more. It probably doesn't help that there wasn't even any real resolution to the video, with Brooklyn Guy instead giving up on the idea of getting any of his things back. 2.8 out of 10. I really want to make clear just how boring this video was. I watched this video a couple times before writing this portion of the batch review, and even then I can still only barely remember it since it was literally just that uninteresting. It was just another boring Brooklyn Guy video. Hey, remember when Brooklyn Guy used to be a fan favorite character? Jeffy goes to a Diddy party. So to start off with this video, I had no clue going into the video who P. Diddy is or what he did. The most I knew was ironically from another SML video, that being Jeffy the Chiropractor, where Goodman says, Hold on, he's not gonna P. Diddy me, is he? Which flew right over my head. However, I think that SML videos need to be viewable more or less independent of current events or news. I said this back in my review of the acorn, but part of what made that video good was that it could be enjoyed independent of knowing the actual event. But with this video? I mean, they tried explaining it sort of, but they summarized it poorly to a point where someone not in the loop wouldn't know much of what was going on. I've said this before, but Loken needs to stop making videos like this where the whole joke is, current event you have to be in on otherwise you won't get it. So the fact that it's about that already docks the video points, but then for the video proper, it's just not very interesting. It's a party where P. Diddy sings or something and not much else happens. Most people apparently didn't even find it funny even with the context of what happened. Actually what most of the video was ended up being talking and nothing else. So not only was this video about a reference the viewer has to get, but it was also mostly filler. It took until more than two thirds of the way into the video for Jeffy to actually go to the party. In fact, this was another one of those videos where Jeffy might as well be in the title alone, since he was in this video for just over a minute. And finally, it's also a shame knowing that if we had the plushes still, that this would have been a great time to bring Diddy Kong back. So this one's a 2.5 out of 10. I laughed more at a penguin plush in the background than I did at basically any other portion of this video. This video would have at least made it into the 3 out of 10 tier had it not relied so heavily on being one giant reference. But as it stands, this video was just bad. Apparently even if you know the reference anyway. Cody's Big Move 
Well, the joke to this one was pretty obvious, but honestly, I thought this video was decent. It wasn't the most creative thing ever, not by a long shot. However, I thought it was interesting to see Cody just decide to literally not care and have a much more laid back, if ultimately self-destructive, attitude. Apparently, this is a Max Keeble's Big Move reference, which I haven't watched, so of course I wouldn't get it. But at the end of the day, I think this video stands well on its own. 5 out of 10. It was a unique Cody video, although I think that this could have been done better had Cody done some stuff that was a bit more vindictive, but maybe that's just me. It isn't anything amazing, in part because the joke of them not moving was the most painfully obvious thing ever, but I'll give it points for at least being somewhat creative. Now, it's time for this month's final score, which is a 3.4 out of 10, but we'll again round this up to a 3.5 out of 10 for a more normal score. Yeah, this month was quite rough. For context, this was the lowest monthly score we've seen since April. I already said in the August batch review that I didn't have much confidence for September, and to be honest, I think I was right not to. While we had the odd decent video here and there, most of these videos were either boring or in a couple of cases flat out obnoxious to watch. Not one video could break above the decent enough mark in here, and a couple were actually quite bad. The Brooklyn guy videos weren't any good, Goodman being cruel to chives can only be funny for so long, and Abraham Lincoln had to do a lot of heavy lifting for this month. I'm sort of hopeful that October will be better, but I also have my doubts as well, since historically Logan's been able to bring out the really good horror videos basically any time that isn't the spooky month. I'm hoping that October will at least have more creative videos, but as for September, yeah, sorry, but September was just really bad and boring. And ultimately, the videos just sort of ran together for the most part, which seems to be a common trend for modern SML videos. But that's all for now. Thank y'all for watching, and take care.